Anyway, and I'm here to give a tutorial on how to install the XT bindings for the Atomic Skis set series. So what we have here is a pair of skis. This is what the final installed version looks like and this is what the, comes in the package. So you can see the ski and the two bindings as well as the instructions. So the instructions for, for XT12, the bindings that we got are for XT10, but the instructions are the same. So what got us confused here is that uh, for this number here, the length is 305 for the boot, but for some reason we have 308 here. What, what basically the instructions are trying to say is that you want to go with the next higher level. So 300 is less than 305, that's not acceptable, so you want to go with the next highest, which is 308. Same on this side, 304 is too small, so we want to go with 312. The other thing that got us confused is these three OK pictures. Uh, what it's trying to say is that after the boot has been placed into the binding, uh, you want this metal rod to be inside this the square uh, frame. So in this case, the metal rod is extending outward, so that's not acceptable. In this case, the metal rod is just touching the boundary, and that's not acceptable as well. It should be inside after the boot has been installed. So as you can see here in, in this installed version, uh, the metal rod over here is inside the the metal uh, the black plastic end casing, right? It's actually, it's actually like half the length. It's basically inside. It's not even touching the boundary. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install these bindings. It's very easy. For the toe side, you have basically two hooks. One is the black plastic hook and then the other is the metal hook. So the metal hook goes in here and the plastic hook should encapsulate this metallic part that is flexible. So I'm going to go in and slide in the metal part and make sure that as you're sliding it in that this metal, this plastic uh, encasing is wrapped around this metal so it doesn't it doesn't move around when you try to move it around. So you can slide it in. There's a latch here that you need to open up to in order to slide, to, to move this toe binding back and forth. So I'm going to slide it in. In this case, uh, we want 281 because this boot is 278 millimeters long. Right, we have 278 millimeters right here. In this boot. So we're going to slide it into 281. Uh, it's not matching up so all I have to do is kind of pull it back and this latch should lock on automatically. So you can see the latch lock on. So it's the same for the back side which is but it's even easier. There's a black plastic extending outward. All we have to do is slide it right in. So there's also a latch on the back side of the heel. So all we have to do is open the latch and keep pushing it in until it lines up with 285. So this is what it looks like in this case. 285 is matched up. Okay, so this is how the final product looks like. As you can see the metal rod is extending out because the boot has not been placed onto it yet but once we do it will lock in as you can see. Uh, you can also set the DIN. There is a place for a screw screwdriver to uh, adjust the DIN for the toe side on the front as well as in the back. The DIN setting is on the top and there's a little hole here in the back that you can use your screwdriver to screw around to basically adjust the DIN setting. In this case, we have five for both the toe and the heel side. So that is a tutorial on how to install the XT bindings for the atomic skis.